In this video, you'll see how to get started using Buy with AWS as a seller. With the Buy with AWS feature, you can add call to action buttons to your website that help drive AWS marketplace purchases and that enable you to track customer engagement and conversion metrics. As a seller on AWS Marketplace, you can get started in just a few steps. First, log into the AWS Marketplace Management Portal with your AWS Marketplace Seller account and download the Buy with AWS Onboarding Guide, Branding Materials, and Specifications. A link to the Buy with AWS materials is included in the description for this video. Second, ensure that all your web pages featuring AWS Marketplace co-branding and calls to action adhere to the Buy with AWS branding guidelines. Third, ensure that the logo on your AWS Marketplace profile meets the specifications in the guidelines. Fourth, in order to track Buy with AWS button clicks and view conversion metrics, add the JavaScript code snippet provided in the downloaded materials to your product display web page. Fifth, create and add a Buy with AWS procurement link using the URL provided, replacing the example values with your information. You can include or omit the optional fields, offer ID and source URL. Note that the parameters are case sensitive. Sixth, in order to track engagement with the call to action buttons, add the code provided in the downloaded materials to your display page. Now let's look at a sample website where Buy with AWS call to action buttons have been added. Let's inspect the Buy with AWS code using the browser's developer tools. Here we can see the JavaScript file, button parameters, and procurement URL that were added. On the Network tab, we can see that there's been no network activity yet. Let's click the Buy with AWS button on the website to generate some activity. For the purposes of this example, we're an authenticated user, so we can access the AWS Marketplace co-branded procurement page to review the offer details and subscribe to the product. In this case, we won't subscribe to the product. Now let's return to the developer tools to view the event we triggered when we clicked Buy with AWS. On the Headers tab, we can confirm the request was posted with a 200 status code for a successful response. On the Payload tab, we can examine the event details and the additional properties of the metrics that were sent. If we had clicked the other buttons, we'd have full visibility into those events as well. The Buy with AWS metrics are also available in the marketing dashboard of the seller's portal. Before launching the Buy with AWS experience, Request approval from the AWS Marketplace Seller Operations Team. To do this, submit a support ticket using AWS Marketplace Management Portal. In your support ticket, provide your seller ID and a link to your live site or mockups. The AWS team will review these materials before granting approval. You've just seen how to create a co-branded storefront on your website using the Buy with AWS feature. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.